Hello friends, welcome to DevOps Sync. In today's session, we are going to learn how to install PHP 8 on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. And in today's session, we are going to discuss these two points, how to create Ubuntu 20.04 LTS EC2 instance in AWS. And second one, how to install PHP 8 on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So firstly, we are going to our first point that is how to create Ubuntu 20.04 LTS EC2 instance in AWS. So firstly, you need to log into your console then go to the EC2. So you can see here, I have already logged in in my account to create Ubuntu 20.04 LTS EC2 instance. So firstly, click on launch instances. And here you need to choose an AMI. So if you scroll down, you can see here Ubuntu server 20.04 LTS, you can see here. So now click on select. Then uh, next step is choose instance type. So you can see uh, they give us by default t2.micro. So if you want to another, then uh, you can choose another. So click on next. So next is configure instance. So here you can choose number of instance you want. So you can specify here, here if you want two, three or more. So now click on next, add storage. So here you can see they give us 8 GB free space. If you want more then you can specify here. So click on next add tag and here, uh, uh, you, uh, here you, you give give name of your instance. So give any meaningful name to your instance. So here I will assign Ubuntu. Twenty point. Ubuntu 20.04. So now click uh, next, click on next. So now here, uh, configure security group. So select, a, uh, select an existing security group and choose by default. That means default VPC security group. Now click on review and launch. Then in last, so firstly review once, it's correct or not. So yeah, it's correct. So now click on launch. So here, select an existing key pair or a create a new key pair. So I have already a key pair. That's why I select a key pair. And here I will select Windows RSA. And now select and click on launch instances. So now you can see your instance are now launching. So if you scroll down, you can see view instances. So click on view instances. So here. So here you can see Ubuntu 20.04. So our instance state is pending. So after some time it's running. So wait for some time. Refresh the page. Now select instance. And if you see, And here you can see in details, public IPv4 address. So copy the IPv4 address. So for copy the IPv4 address. And now here I'm using Mobax term so to run this all this command. So now we are going to connect. So firstly, click on session, then SSH and in room, remote host, paste the IPv4 address and specify username. So for Ubuntu instance, you need to specify username Ubuntu. Then advanced SSH setting, use private key. And here you need to specify specify path of your PEM.PEM file windows.pem file, open and click on OK. Now you can see here our terminal is ready. So first we clear the screen first. So now our first point is ready. So sorry, sorry, our first point is done. So now we are going to our next point. Next is how to install PHP 8 on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So firstly, 
we need to update the system packages. So run this command. So it's done. So now second command. It's also the screen first. So now, so now you can see here. So next command is uh, to enable PHP. So run this command to enable PHP. So press enter to continue. So you can see done. So clear the screen first. So now next command is to install PHP 8 on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So run this command to install PHP in our system. So yes, I want to continue. So you can see here it's installing. So it's done. So now if you want to check the version of your PHP, then run this command PHP hyphen hyphen version. So we can see a PHP version 8.0, you can see here. So now clear the screen first. So now go to our second, sorry, next point. Next is, is to, how to install PHP 8 extensions. So firstly, install the required PHP modules for your application. So for that, run this command. So it's done. So next is then install the required PHP modules. So run this command to install required PHP modules. So yes, I want to continue. So yes, it's done. So clear the screen first. So now it's done. So now go to our second, sorry, next point. Next is how to install PHP 8 with Apache. So for that, an Apache module is available to integrate PHP. So run this command. So it's done. So now next command is then enable PHP 8 module. It's also done. So clear the screen first. So now next is testing PHP processing. So to test whether the web server is configured properly for PHP processing, create a new file named with info.php inside this directory. So for that, run this command firstly. Then here, copy this code. Then save file. And So now, now you have saved the file and open your browser and visit 
HTTP and your server IP and info.php. Copy the server IP and paste here. So you can see here the details of your PHP version. You can see PHP version 8.0. If you scroll down, you can see configuration, Apache environment, then HTTP headers information, calendar, core. You can see here the details. So now it's done. So now next and last point is switch between the PHP version. So you can easily switch between multiple PHP version installed on any system. For that, run this command to switch any uh, PHP version. Firstly, clear the screen first. Then run this command. So you can see there is only one alternate alternative in link group php that means we have only one version of php that uh, php 8 so now we are going to install our install old version of php that is 7.4 firstly run this command Seven point four. Yes. So you can see it's installing. So it's done. So clear the screen first. And now we are going to run that our switch command that is here. So now, so you can see uh, select, so you can see a type select number. So here in one, you can see 7.4 and in two, you can see 8.0. So now if you want to, then you can specify your two. So if you want one, you can specify your one, then switched. So in this video, we have learned to install uh, PHP 8 on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps engine.